the whole conception of nature is as a self-regulating, self-governing, indeed democratic organism. But it has a totality. It all goes together, and this totality is the Tao. When we speak uh, in Taoism of following the course of nature, following the way, what it means is, is more like this. Doing things in accordance with the grain. It doesn't mean you don't cut wood, but it means that you cut wood along the lines where wood is most easy to cut. Look at your hand. Not only does each finger have its own ratio moving up each finger, which is phi to the next bone, but it oscillates back and forth from the tallest finger to the thumb. You wonder why the human hand is like that? It's based on phi. This relationship is found throughout the body in various ways, moving up the arms and legs, in your face, throughout the entire body. Here is the phi ratio in butterflies. You can see this ratio everywhere, from the wing size to the body to the antennas. They're all phi ratios. Here's dragonflies. It's the same story. Phi runs along the entire body and the relation to the body and the wings. Here it is in frogs. Phi is found throughout the body in relation to the head, to the arms, to the fingers, and so on. It doesn't just apply to these creatures though. Regardless of what mammal, insect, avian, plant, or living creature of any kind, you will find this ratio one way or another. However, phi has no beginning and no end. Life doesn't know how to deal with that. It's like Source says, go and replicate this, and life says, we don't know how. Because life doesn't know how to create from something that has no beginning. So it creates the Fibonacci sequence instead, which has a beginning, but starts out crude, very basic, and then continually goes closer and closer to source, becoming more divine every step. Now the Fibonacci sequence is life's way of creating the golden mean. Allow me to explain. This sequence is continually made from adding the previous number to the current. One and one is two, two and one is three, three and two is five, five and three is eight. You can see how it continues. Now what most people don't know about Fibonacci is that it actually continually strives closer and closer to the phi ratio. By dividing the current number into the last, you can see this happening. One into one is one. Two into one is two. Three into two is 1.5. Five into three is 1.666. Continuing with that, it's 1.6 and then 1.625, 1 1.615384, 1 1.619048, and so on. It continually oscillates over and under the phi ratio, never quite making it there, but continuing on closer and closer every time until eventually you can't even tell the difference. Because phi is an infinite number, this sequence will go on forever. You have to see that life, that the, the so-called conflict of various species with each other is not actually a competition. It's a very strange system of interrelationship of things feeding on each other and cultivating each other at the same time. Take for example this incredible image of a supercomputer simulation known as the Millennium Run showing the distribution of dark matter in the local universe. It was created by the Max Planck Society in Germany. Dark matter is essentially what we previously thought of as empty space. It is like an invisible nervous system that runs throughout the universe. The universe is literally like a giant brain. It is constantly thinking, using a type of dark or hidden energy that science is only starting to understand. Through this immense network, unfathomable energy moves providing the momentum for the expansion and growth of the universe.